me wrong. They're, they're not defendable in any way on this. Uh -huh. No, but I see uh, what you're, you're just saying, too. Yeah. It just, yeah. Which is absolutely right. Uh, that's another way that you can say, hey, look at us, you know? We're just doing what the economy's saying we're doing, even though we're the ones pushing it up, right? <laughs> but yeah. we're the ones driving the economy up. Yeah, we're driving yeah. the price up. We're just, we're following the prices, just like everybody else. You yeah. can't blame us. <laughs> Yeah, D and D one, um, you know those the rule sets that you know aren't really rewriting a whole lot. Yeah, yeah those new books are seventy bucks, because that's what everybody else is charging for homebrew stuff. Yep. Um. Anyway, we are live, so welcome back to uh, Magic okay. Mushrooms Mead. Uh, are we complaining while we're live? <laughs> uh, just that last bit of complaining. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Just a tiny bit. They can hear me bitch and both <laughs> them ripping us off. Yeah. I pay it's good not... money to you people and you still rip. Where are they complaining? Out more. <laughs> like you said, boycott. So just, just, for the people, yeah. Yeah, just for the people watching, we are making just under $750,000 a year. So. <laughs> no, no. I mean, no, no, we're not. We're, it I don't know it we're is going, going to affect us. Not right now, but it I will think, affect us. I think if we um, well, we'll add card. up all five of us we're still <laughs> under a, like un, probably under a quarter of <laughs> seven probably under, and that <laughs> and that's with our real job too yeah, exactly <laughs> we're not even close to this <laughs> <laughs> um so um first off i'm gonna say there is a bug in uh um, master's toolkit so we can't have the player screen so you guys are gonna have to pretend that you're not seeing any of the behind behind the stu uh, scene stuff oh that's too hard for me <laughs> I always pretend <laughs> um and let me see let's go to here get for the commercial ready and where is my Ark and Forge thing. Turn that on and uh, hit play and go for it. And go? Yeah. I thought before we started this, I'd actually throw a couple jokes out there. They are dad jokes at dadjokes.com or whatever the hell that is, so I don't get sued. Uh, but here, anyway, here we go. Uh, to the man that invented zero, thanks for nothing. Uh, <laughs> they got a lot of bad ones, and it's just kind of funny. And I thought maybe it'd be nice to, you know, kind of throw a couple jokes out before we actually get to the, the whatever I'm doing. Anyway, uh, what's the difference between ignorance and apathy? Anybody? Huh? I don't know and I don't care. 99% 99.99% uh, of the people are idiots. And I'm just happy to be the 1%. Anyway, to get on to I, Ark and Forge, hold, which isn't a joke. Hold up, hold up. Hold <laughs> That's the whole thing I was going for. Okay? <laughs> so hold, hold up here now, hold on. No, no, no. Oh, See, you're, oh, you're, you're, just... you're throwing this out, and now, and now, like, I'd almost be willing to play your son in character just so I can make you rip out dad jokes every session. <laughs> Although dad jokes are wonderful. I might, you know, we'll see if it's going to be a continuing thing. That. But again, like I said, something that's not a joke, Ark and Forge, and their Ark and Forge Master Toolkit program. The same one we use on our maps. <laughs> if you use the code Mushroom Tips, all one word, you can get $5 off the Master Toolkit on either the Fancy or Sci-Fi Starter Pack. And there is a 14 day free trial, so you can check that out. And you know, if you like it, get it. Use the five bucks, or use Mushroom Tips to get five bucks off, or do it, do it as you wish. I can't even talk, I've only had half a drink so far. Fantastic. Anyway, we are an Ark and Forge affiliate. There's a one-time payment with no subscription fee. It can be used fully offline. It can be installed on an unlimited number of devices with one purchase. It's easy to import and manage your own content. You can build fully animated maps with real-time lighting like the ones we use. Uh, you can hook it up to a TV or projector and play in person. person. You can manage your campaigns with a robust thinkable note system. Set the scene with immersive audio. Uh, you get full commercial license for exported maps and you know we are complaining about some other uh, commercial licensing so that's kind of coming up but you can talk about that later uh you can use it as a touchscreen compatible for use with physical minis 
So if you got to check it out at archconforge.com and get $5 off your master toolkit on either the sci-fi or fantasy starter pack using the code word mushroom tips. So check it out guys. Yeah. You guys want one more bad joke? Go for it. Okay, here we go. What do you call a snake that's exactly 3.14 meters long? A python. A python. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. There we go. Anyway, yeah. But you guys should check that out because this actually does have a full commercial license. But then, the uh, what were we looking at with that other site? Cypher? Yeah, Cypher. So if you guys are looking at, you know, doing a commercial license and stuff like that, maybe uh, go and use the Cypher. <laughs> They're not on the OGL, you might not get uh, dinged for what uh, d and is doing right now. So. Anyway, check that out too if you haven't heard about that, because some people are mad about it. And, uh, yeah. Wait, like I said, we're, we're just... We're just under 750,000, so we're not quite mad yet. But... Yeah. But when they do take some of the, the licensing, we're still mad about it. Yeah, we're still mad. <laughs> uh, do you want me to keep going with that? No, no. So, I just uh, had to. I just had to turn off all of the uh, UI audio because it was making a lot of noise that bugs me. Fair enough. Um, so, so wait, what channel was actually the, uh, did you drop the music we said that we were supposed to be looking at? Uh, in general. Yeah, hey, you got a bunch of different ones. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sure. I just There's looked over it three times, there. that's okay. <laughs> I think the, the house one. The house one really does fun. look really cool. Yeah, that would be fun. Or the origin one. Those are, those are my two top ones. Good. God damn it, Mel! I picked the other three. <laughs> I was like, "Those are my top three, the exact opposite, except for those." Two. <laughs> you don't want to play in like a haunted, spooky house? That would be fun. Well, the be strange cool. sounds fantastic because it's in our world, but you can dimension jump almost, right? And then stars are on fire. It's just space stuff, which is fantastic. And then I think Path of the Plane Breaker is uh, straight up, again, like demi worlds, other dimensions, stuff like that. It's multiverse uh, jumping again. See, anyway, I, I'll be it'll be, I it'll be, you know, whatever gets the most votes, right? Like most popular votes. So yeah, well, yeah. whatever wins, I'll play it. <laughs> so just to clarify here, we're, we're working off not off of five E rules, but rather the actual storylines of themselves. Um, yeah, it would be the cipher system. Which is oh, so it would be a different like set of different. rules as well. It okay. would be a completely different set of rules. Okay. No, no, I, I'm just double checking. Just, yeah. just double checking. Which has a really cool thing on how you make characters. Um, character name is a blank, blank who does blank. So that's that's how you make your character. You get, uh, I think it's noun, noun, verb. I, I'm so terrible. I'm a writer and I'm terrible at <laughs> noun, verb, and adverb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible at that. I would, but yeah, you you would basically play uh, Mad Libs to to make your character. <laughs> well, you guys will have to help me with that. So. Well, it's it's got all the character options there when you're making it, but it that's how you choose is you choose the um, the noun, you choose the next noun, then you choose the verb, and those are your three different things for your character okay so uh let's go into where is it not villains dungeon and then go over here and turn this down and audio is really loud because i did a reinstall so uh turn this down to about uh, 16 works all right so, previously on, I don't remember much, but I doubt anyone else does either. <laughs> you guys, uh, no, God, no, man. let's see, you guys went to a few different places. 
Jeez. And I need bookmarks. We kicked ass, took names, and proceeded to move on. Yep. And shoot bubble Please. go. Like we always do. Yeah. Um, bookmarks. Except when I died that one time. Um, oh, no, so. Only part of you dead. Have the come on. D and D beyond better not start dying again. Um, I'll be mad if we'll say nothing like that. There we go. Because then we'll just be using Cypher Beyond. I'm kind they of don't ha have one. I was searching. Probably don't have something like that. No. It would be great if they did, but they don't. So you guys went. Uh, yeah, you can see the numbers for all the things. But you went from the you went through Tower of Illusion to twenty one. So I know you guys were just about at seventeen, I believe. Where's my thing that has stuff? Yeah, you guys were going into seventeen, which was the theater you had already been through. That's right. So you went past the obelisk, which has a uh, small divot in it, but is otherwise completely blank. Then you uh, continued on to 19, which you can't go to, so you went past 19 through the neighborhood to 17 which is the theater. Um, Deckard convinced yeah, you guys play. to do the play, which <laughs> resulted in a couple curses. I believe there's one still active. Um, someone needs to use remove curse. Um, Was that me? No. Uh... uh Iggy created a remove curse potion, which he and you, I believe, used, and then it was um Was it Oya or something like that? Might have been Oya have been who's Oya. still cursed, yeah. Um I didn't write it down in here because I figured we'd be playing a week later. Um forgetting that it was Christmas. And then I don't think my notes saved, unfortunately. Okay. Well, oh yes, got the curse. So someone needs That's to help her it. out. Things are not gonna go well for her. Um, I think our fancy little um, our druid there was supposed to be able to do it after we took a rest, right? Maybe. Cause got... Yes, because you. Yeah. I think you have high enough level spells to cast yeah. remove curse. You just need to rest need in to order rest, to right. switch up your spells, I think. Right, yeah, yeah, that's right. But um So I have us at five rights out of eight so far. Um I believe so, yeah. yes. You just have um, necromancy. Two, two, three, and seven. Yeah. So let me get Tower of Men Necromancy and Dumb Wild Magic and. Because, uh, yeah, the last thing I had was us doing the play, and then. Yep. We came out, we found. Oh, yeah, Deckard went into the mirror and brought out some capes. I have oh, a yeah. uh, a fantastic co co yeah. uh, cape of billowing. So yep. Yep. that was billowing a completely sir. different play. Yeah, I think that there was... was two at some point. Yeah, the second uh, play was at the end of last episode. Uh, um, we and the by the way, hour, welcome uh, to uh, um, episode sixty four, which is. Um, I need to go to here and open up Twitch because I forgot what our episode name was this week. 
believe it's the Tower of Necromancy. Okay, look, it um, seems to be the Tower of Necromancy. Oh yeah, because we're going to go take her back to uh, her mm -hmm. husband. Yes. Stream manager yeah, and... Yeah, lady that... Yes, the Tower of Me Necromancy. We're pretty sure we're going to scam her crown off of her once we put her to death <laughs> with her husband. Well, is that... Did you say that out loud? No, did I say the quiet part loud? <laughs> <laughs> so what was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you're safe with us, weird old lady who's half, you know, I mean, half like, mind is missing. I mean, though, like, if you put it in perspective of, like, well, Iggy doesn't want that to happen, but, like, if you put it in perspective of, like, from her, like, she sat there and, like, suffered mindlessly for 10,000 years while all of her friends and family and everyone else around her died. Mm-hmm. And then, like... But she didn't really know that. I mean, I, I imagine that she... Being, she, um, fed on she had her brain sucked so much that she didn't know. Lilith managed to heal the brain-sucking part, but nothing could fix the age. Even with her um, uh, circlet of timelessness, or whatever it's called, she's, she's aged a lot. <laughs> It slows her aging. It doesn't halt it. Uh, oh, she just, you know, she's just like a piece of beef jerky. Is pretty much what it is, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Like a piece of living beef jerky, and it's kind of like, yeah, okay, lady. Yeah, we'll. Uh, and I mean, she did be we'll ask us to bring bring her to be yeah. to rest with her husband. So, but... Exactly. That was her only wish. So, when you leave this theater, you've got one giant um, dome, and then the tower is beyond that. Do you want to go into the big glass dome, or are you going to go past it? I think we were going to go out and come back and around. Like, because we've done. Well, because we were at twenty-one and going up, or we are at nineteen, so, right? Seventeen you guys, is probably the closest. You guys started down here, there? last game. Um. Oh man, I gotta. So you started down here. Yeah. Which is still super small. Why am Why am yeah. I not seeing anything? It's on twenty-two. We started what at twenty-two. Guys yeah. Saying. Um, twenty-two. Yeah. Ping, it's fine. We can let's... go by num. We can go by numbers. So we started at twenty-two. We hopped to twenty, and I think we hopped to twenty-one, which was the. Um, so yeah, started uh, here. The thing. Then went here. Up to here. We, I can't see which. You can't. Did we go to nineteen yet? No, I don't um, see any pings. You can't go into nineteen. You can't see these pings. So nineteen is Hold the up. central. I think tower. I'm looking at the wrong thing. No, no, Hold you're up. you're looking at the right one. The central tower is 19. Yeah. Which oh, you can't go to yet. Okay. So you went 20. Oh, okay. 21. Yeah. Through okay. this. Sorry, my bad. I'm just being. Through this back here. Used. And then into 17, which is where you did the cursed play. <clears throat> okay, okay. So shit, I mean, 18, uh, 16 is right there. Yeah. I know 15 and 14, that's. That kind of the bazaar we were looking for anyway and 18 is the necromancy castle yep. or necromancy tower. necromancy tower yeah yeah do you guys want to go into 16 i'm down with 16. glass dome sure sure yeah. i'll give Iggy more time with the old lady before we put her to rest okay so um you go to oh come on 16. Um, there is an immense dome looming before you with a crystal roof marred by a web of cracks. Um, through the gaps in the shell and on the other side of the open entrance, there is a landscape of miniature, miniaturized natural features. Um, the place is l quite literally bigger on the inside. Um, it's basically, as you go in, a zoo. Um, 
each of the miniaturized areas as you get closer it just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until you're standing in front of a uh, full-on enclosure for an animal and then as you walk away it shrinks down to basically like something that you'd put on uh, a diorama that you'd put on a table hold on are we talking pocket dimensions inside of pocket dimensions here um kind of not quite pocket dimensions inside pocket Is dimensions it... but like windows into a pocket dimension that you could probably climb into but only if you wanted to climb into <laughs> oh, okay so it's like i see yeah it's like a it's like you're i guess it... A, oh, okay. a diorama on like a table. If one room's and... here, the other room's here. Like they're connected to each other. They're just, but like you just walk exactly. Into, you it's can walk it's basically a diorama like... on a table. Yeah. And when you get up to the diorama, you're standing at the um, railing outside of a um, uh, an enclosure in a zoo. And it's basically a window into that enclosure, and you could step in. But you'd be going into the pocket dimension then. Yeah. So they're not necessarily within each other. They're just touching each other. Yeah, they're next to each other. Yeah. Um, are there panda bears? There are not panda bears. Oh, there we go. There's... Oh Why not? This is a travesty. <laughs> um give me a hey Ryan, how's it going? Demand recompense. It's going good. Uh hold on, I gotta get for some reason your camera was in a weird spot. Uh, so give me a, uh, say a D6. Anyone can roll me a D6. A one. A one? All right. So you do see something similar to a panda. It's colorized like a panda. Uh, but it is small. And very long. Um, kind of like the body of a weasel, but the features of a panda. The coloring and the face and everything like a panda. So it's almost like a normal color red panda. Um, like a badger? Or like a long badger? Like a, like a long red panda. <laughs> yeah, like a long red panda. But it's the normal panda colors. Yeah. Interesting. And all, do all of the animals appear to be well, like, fed? Like, do the enclo yep. are the enclosures are, like, their wild natural habitat? Yes. Or are the enclosures, so like... it's their wild natural habitat. It's got the... <laughs> it's got bamboo. And it is chowing down on bamboo, but it's very small. <laughs> it's... It's a weasel chowing down on bamboo. And there's a bunch of them. There's enough to sustain a probably a very inbred population, but they're, um, they don't appear to be inbred. Interesting. I want to adopt one. <laughs> Do you want to climb in to but grab But I will one? not admit it out loud. <laughs> but I will not admit it out loud. Uh, I will. I will not do anything for now. Okay. You want to look at any other enclosures in here, uh, Iggy? This is a. Uh, this is the dome number sixteen, the glass dome, and it's uh, basically a bunch of dioramas. But when you get up to them, they're um, pocket dimensions with a zoo enclosure. That's cool. Are like, there what any kind of other animals we're talking about? 
Um, well, you go to another one, and inside is a an enormous turtle. We're talking like uh, not quite blue whale size, but big, big turtle, and it has moth wings. And oh, there are yeah. little perches for it to land on, but it's usually flying. So it's not a dragon turtle. It is not a dragon turtle. It's much smaller than no, a dragon it's a turtle. It, it's a moth turtle. A Come moth. On. <laughs> a moth turtle. Got it. Huh. Go to another one, and there are... Um, there are it's it's got a um a plaque that says what it is each one does and this one is an armadillophant and it is an elephant with big long claws on the front legs and it's armored and when you get there it kind of spooks one of them spooks and just <laughs> rolls up into a ball Do these look like um, like genetic experiments almost? Absolutely. Or like have are these creatures that you see near? Okay. These are definitely genetic experiments. You get to another one and it says uh, "world first uh, bear meets owl," and you look in and it's um, it doesn't look like owl bears that you know of. It looks like the first edition owl bear that is a bear with the long face and really ugly. The one that's based on that, uh, the the toy that oh. they bought in a dollar store that created the owl bear. The worst version of the owl bear. Okay, mm. I understand. Like the uh, bear pig man. <laughs> man bear pig. <laughs> man bear pig. Yeah, man bear pig. Man, I will pig. Man, I will bear. There you go. Um, um, you do see one that is uh, marked spider horse. Um, nice. When you look hey, in there, like there are webs, but there are no spider horses in there. So you think they might have that's stolen the spider stole horses from here. Ah. Yeah, those bastards. So we could probably take that moth turtle then. It's uh, it will not fit out the door. Yeah, you oh, could get wow. it out of the pocket dimension, and it would take up most of the space in this um, building. Yeah, it would not be able to get out. You think it was probably brought in as a baby, and has just grown to its full size. What else is in there? So, there's the like yeah. turtle moss, the weasel pandas, fire horses. Um, Lilith, is Lilith in there? I think everyone's in this yep. particular yes. pocket dimension. Okay. Yep. Lilith's having a blast. <laughs> She's probably trying to inspect as many of these creatures as she can. There, uh, there is a set of like a school. Like a school of fish, but they're rats with fish tails. Basically mermaid rats. Amazing. But they all look healthy and They all look well healthy. Care of, right? What would Lilith think of a zoo though? Uh she's not a fan of them, but if they look like they're, you know, in their natural habitat. Yes, definitely. Uh, then it, she's okay with that. It's like a natural habitat was created specifically <laughs> yeah, be, for them. Yeah, she'd be okay with that. Okay. Um, she'd be like, if it was like a circus and they were yeah. in cages, she'd be, she'd be breaking them out. Or if there was like a little malnourished one, she'd mm -hmm. be singling it out. Yeah. Yeah, they... They never stopped and asked why. They exactly. Never, they None of them look natural. Why not? You can... Some of them do have little write-ups on like 
the wizard who created this particular one. Uh, none of them appear to be the names of the higher up wizards from this uh, that you know of, the wizards' names you know of from this city. So it's like they were brought here from other cities to be shown off. Uh, um, but they are all definitely unnatural, created by a wizard. Do any of them look like they'd be useful? Um, let's see. Depends what you would think of as useful. I'll stand in front of the, uh, oh, no. the, the panda weasel enclosure and, like, roughly look at Lilith and be like, we should bring one of these back. <laughs> <laughs> for science well uh, I'll <laughs> grab one and we sh I'll put it in my bag of holding you would have to climb down into the enclosure uh, and well, gonna, gonna it's gonna like smother <laughs> yeah there's only so much yeah, air exactly in it the whole, well, that's the whole point I don't think, I don't think the little panda weasel would survive the elements Especially if they're like in like a trop, you know, like a more tropical area that would grow bamboo. Yeah. So Lil was like, "No, I don't think I don't think it would be a good idea." <laughs> Especially not in the big hole because they'll, they'll suffocate to death. <laughs> It'll have five minutes of air. Yeah, that's no, okay. Thank you. I don't think I you would mind. Really. I thought a bag holding was ten minutes air. Is it ten? I think yeah. it's ten for a medium-sized creature. Yeah, so we would probably have more. It's it's tiny, so it would probably have, let's say, maybe an hour of air, but that's only an hour of air. How much is 490 pounds of air? <laughs> Put that in my bag. <laughs> How are you going to shove air into there? Are you, like, compressing it? Do you have a compressor? Just, yeah, like, get a fan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> an air compressor? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Until you blow your bag of holding up. Yeah, exactly. But then does it pop like a balloon? We can't see these spider horses. You said we that, already that... saw them. Uh, oh, I she you did not. Oh, no, you weren't here. Yeah, you weren't oh. here for the spider horse. Uh, well, maybe well, we'll you could look in there. The maybe there's horse. some babies left over or an egg or something. You could get some eggs. Um, what did you guys do with the spider horse? <laughs> Probably uh, no, uh, the some drow had them yeah we came across some drow uh, in, yeah. in the cave along the way there's eggs that's actually kind of cool give me a highs or lows uh hi hi and you're sure about that yep okay no eggs oh, oh thanks no. it's possible they might have taken uh, them if there were any i would have loved those eggs yeah <laughs> they were they were literally horses with, with um, an extra four spider legs and eight eyes. <laughs> oh my, that's amazing. That yeah. would have been so terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. See. Anything else in the room that looks... Anything else that I can see in the room? Um, uh, other than the that... dioramas, no. Is there a basement okay. in here? Because sometimes they don't have all their animals on display. It is just flat yes. uh, floor. There doesn't appear to be a basement in here. It's just like a hallway into... It's like... it's basically that entire dome is just one gigantic room. Does it look like there's anything that we could actually take to eat? To there's eat? little pandas. Um, oh, the pandas eat, wouldn't yeah, really have so too much... Uh, meat on the animals them. food, right? But there, there are oh, some saying, animals like some, that you could probably get some food off of. Yeah, we could just cook some. Oh, I don't mean like food off them. I meant like some actual. Like, um... I bet you those panda weasels are tasty. I was gonna say we can make some, <laughs> yeah. make a giant turtle soup. <laughs> yeah, no. that's true. Too. We could use no. it. Oh. What else do they you got? What, what do they look like? That idea. looks like livestock. Do they have like, like a pig, have like a pig cow or something? Did you see there was like owl bears there? Mm, there are owl bears. 
very rudimentary they look so, owlbears. They look so foul, it's probably terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat them. Okay. Um, you guys are boring. <laughs> <laughs> there is a... There is a fairly fat-looking cow. It does have fangs. Do I know what kind of cow that is? What's the plaque say? Uh, the plaque says... Um, says... Bra uh, Brahmin Viper. Brahmin. Brahmin Ooh. Viper. Poisonous cow. <laughs> I love it. Why is it so good going there? There is no cow level. Yeah. <laughs> Poisonous cow. Hmm. Would a, ca would, a, would a cow with giant fangs that's poisonous it live, like, survive in the elements? Possibly. Like... I mean, it's a is cow, like so a it's got a lot of fat. Is there, like, a lever or something that's going to drop, like, a goat and see closer or something? Probably, yeah. Do we have a goat? Okay, let's press it. Let's find it. We so, don't have a goat anymore. You awesome. guys, all the goats yeah, no, die. Like the Jurassic party. Park, where <laughs> the, the thing goats. rises from the ground and it's got like a goat on a chain. Yeah, and it uh, appears to ignore it for a few minutes, and then its jaw unhinges and it just <clears throat> and That's swallows it whole. Fascinating and horrifying thing I've ever got seen in my goddamn life. <laughs> okay, Lou kind of wants the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Are we able we to be... just let it out? We're not taking the cow. Me too. I could be we'll friends with let... this cow. We have now a Take cow that can like pull people whole. <laughs> uh, and and do, not, them. do you not remember the problem with the moose? Like, it could only get into half the places that we were going, and like, I mean. He got left out in the cold because he couldn't come inside, and he ended up getting beat to death. Viciously. And he was a murderer. And well, yeah. You that... forgot why I left him outside. No, that was nope. your uh, your shield that was guardian got beat. The to shield death. guardian, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Okay, never Those mind. Those really I got scary that. cold walkers. Yeah. Right. The ones that well, they managed to bust my two leg legs off, off too. Yeah. I, I stand corrected. And nobody wants a cow. That can swallow things. Like, no? <laughs> Alright. I don't know what else you're gonna do with it. I thought we were just gonna eat it. Yeah. I mean, I'm like... gonna, like, ride him and send him into battle. Well, you've got your, uh, don't forget your, uh... That's my sweet, my sweet cat. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Alright, fine. But we're not, I don't, I don't think we need to eat him. We've got enough food. <laughs> no, I don't well, think I we have suggest we just leave the door open and we leave. And if they want to escape, well, no, they should stay in their habitat. It's safer, safer for them. I mean, no I figure if they haven't escaped by this point in time, they probably won't escape at all. So yeah. they they really can't. Like I said, it is like a zoo, so it's an enclosure with a deep. It's deep down, and you're looking from on high. So you'd have to like climb down into it. You'd have to climb down into it, and then get it Weird. up, and out. Just a window or tough. a door in the sky. Yeah. To get a to get a cow out. All right. All right. Fine. Let's move on to the next room. Can I search for like uh, like there's just just plaques and anything? Is there any like more maybe uh, like literature on any of this stuff? Do they have pamphlets? Um, there would be pamphlets. Yeah. Can I check some of the pamphlets out? Sure. Do they see um, anything like, you know, this This is our secret, super secret ghost bear from freaking this place. Right? <laughs> um, so you're looking for something more uh, combat focused? Well, just something like where it wouldn't be just your regular kind of, yeah, let's say combat folks. It wouldn't be your regular kind of. Uh, viper bear or viper cow that you know you show to the public it'd be something that they're you know they've been working on is that invisible uh albertosaurus or something like that right <laughs> um highs or lows 
Well, always highs, and I'll I'll keep doing that. And you're sure. <laughs> it has to be yeah. high sometime. <laughs> sometime it's gonna be high. Um, well, not it this time. Been. The only uh, thing you find are some pamphlets that just say what's in them, and they have well, really yes. bad first edition pictures. <laughs> they don't have just, like stuffed animals. No, just Lola, uh, Melissa, just Google D and D first edition monster picture or something like that. You'll see. Or D and D first edition um, owl bear. That's what they look like. Oh, That's oh what God. they look like. Yeah. Oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> Aww, how big are they? Oh, they're they're big. They're the size of a bear, like a oh polar God. bear size. They're huge. That's incredible. Love it. So yeah. The hell is on their head? <laughs> <laughs> They have all, like scales on their head and shit. Oh man, beautiful. Well, I'm pretty much done. I'll just leave all the doors open as I'm going. Okay. Or windows, whatever else that fits. That the uh, the what windows are really only open, open when you get up close to the diorama. If we have rope, we could maybe use use one of those. I'm gonna walk oh, Sorry. Does anybody want to? I'm gonna walk behind Why? What? No. Why not? I said I'm gonna walk behind Deckard and close the door. Do they look really soft. <laughs> yeah, if I got two of them, I could. I'm not. Lost. I'm not being a parent. With it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They do look. I'm out. I'm out. I'm bored. They look as soft as a panda. So yeah, they look. They look kind of soft. Nice gloves. <laughs> Anybody want a pair of gloves? <laughs> I mean, that seems panda awfully skin. aggressive for a pair of gloves. Oh, you want a nice pair, right? You probably wouldn't even have to skin them to put the gloves on. <laughs> Just put the gloves on, right? Put your hands inside of them. <laughs> Keep your hands warm like Luke stayed warm. Keep real warm, yeah. All right. I'll take a cursory look for secret doors. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, search. Fifteen. 15. Uh, you don't spot any secret doors, but you do see a uh, um, the diorama where the table has kind of been knocked down. Like there's something under it? Like the uh, like the table was broken. By can we investigate the table? If there's something big, if we see some hairs or something. Uh, yeah, you can check. Let's check. So the diorama on the table's broken? Uh, the diorama isn't broken, but the table is. What could have broken it? Backyard wrestling. That's probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anytime now, D&D Beyond. We do this again. Everything's going slow. Somebody wants to roll me a d20 plus 5. That'd be alright. I almost want to reconsider wrangling a weasel. I thought about it. 21, I Patrick. Okay, 21. 21, 21. So... Yeah, take Iggy's. I rolled a 9. <laughs> <laughs> alright, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You find... Uh, it a tiny pool of what looks like acid where the one table leg was. I, Something burnt away that what, table? Can I, yeah. Can I uh, tell what kind of maybe acid that came from? Like... Um, well, that's weird. Oh my god, my stuff is. Is it literally awesome. nowhere else? There's no acid burns anywhere else, just that one table edge? Yeah. Maybe those guys killed uh, something I... when they came in here to get those horses. Do you want to look into the diorama? Mm. I'm going to ask Roya to look into the diorama for me. You are going to look? Actually, wait, wait. hold on. 
Uh, no, what's your name doesn't follow any of our commands anyways anymore. She's a traitor's yeah. bitch now. I told oh, you yeah. to fire her. I was going to say, well, she's, uh, sh she should have got fixed by... Um, no, she, I didn't fix her. Lilith I only already. fixed us. Lilith. Lilith should have been able to fix her. No, she well, needed a uh, rest. Okay. Well, yeah, we but we... Yet, but... we no, you guys I'm didn't rest yet. Whatever your oh, name okay, is, then. you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to assume that I know that acid won't go through glass, right? Uh, well, there wasn't glass no, in no, any of them. Just, it's I just know, a just a that. window in the air, basically. I should know that that uh, with my arcana or my oh yeah yeah the acid won't go through yeah. glass. So do I'm gonna ask anybody? Do we have any glass? Like a little sheet of glass? Do I see any sheets of glass that I can actually put up in front of myself so that I don't get sprayed in the face by like a dinosaur? What? Does I anyone have glass? glass. You, why, are you, why are you scared of this diorama? I'm um, because I'm going to point at the acid and I say, I don't want somebody to spray acid in my face. <laughs> I don't know. I have a metal mirror. You know what? I don't I'm, think that's the same. I've got, I've got a magnifying glass. Is that is that big enough to cover the little... Um, <laughs> that might say one of your eyes. The window? When no, the, the window, the window opens up and you're basically standing uh, at the edge of a... Uh, an enclosure. Well, we okay. know that people were already in here. We already know that the drow were in here because they took the spiders. So maybe when they were wrangling the spiders, the spiders spit venom at them, like, and broke or burned the table or whatever. So, like, Seems reasonable. I'm not too concerned about looking at the diorama. All right, I'll yeah. let you go, and uh, I'm gonna get. Uh, no one's gonna look at the diorama. No, I said. Does it look like it dripped from the diorama? Um, it does not. No. Hmm. Oh, then where did it come from? Did it come from above it? You're not sure. I'm gonna inspect it again, see if maybe it came from above it. Okay, Ryan, can you roll again, please? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's slowly going. Slowly going. It's slow. I can see it. It's. Like literally, it's so choppy. Okay, Ryan, you might as well roll because this might take like. Uh, this time you only get uh, twelve. You've got no idea. Well, oh, shit. I don't know. I only got one. Guy. Okay. You were uh, really so, gonna... Gritman, you said you were gonna look in the diorama. Yeah, it's just like all the the other one, right? With all the animals. Yep. So okay. you look in and all you right, see you're you're you. gonna have to look on the. Uh, um stream but you see a pair of gigantic uh scorpions black covered in uh glowing greenish runes uh is there a plaque nearby i would like to consult the plaque there is um it says i believe um it says chameleon fox Ooh, chameleon fox for the chameleon girl and no, there's a bunch of spooky scorpions in there a pair of spooky scorpions there's a small uh, puddle of acid near one of them with a uh, probably a toddler sized egg. They probably ate the chameleon fox. Yeah, I'm assuming as much as well. Uh, can I read the runes on the back of the scorpions? Um, I'll read it for you if you want. Yeah, Deckard I definitely can because of his uh, ability to read anything. So let's go to that and let's see. And One... I'm doing this while trying not to obviously draw attention to yeah. this, even in the air, considering that so... I don't think that these things originated in that enclosure. 
Uh, I would like to also get a uh, stealth check from the two of you then. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Let's see my roll. Is it coming? Here it goes. I'm in the wrong one. Huh. I got a nat 20. Whew. Mine's a 24. Oh, mine's looking like a natural 20 too. But yeah, it's really slow. So. <laughs> I mean, your other one did come through. Good. It's coming. It's almost. It did finally come through, and thank God we didn't use it because it's a natural one. <laughs> well, you needed one as well if you're looking like at the runes. Right? If you're looking yeah, at the runes, you need I'm one slowly... too. So, 10. Yeah, it is rolling right now. I got. Did it just come through? Yes. It just came through on my ten. end. It's a ten. As my stealth. So, um, you look down and you me. speak out loud instead of uh, instead of whispering to Kripman or thinking in your head what the runes say. You read aloud. Uh, one small section says. Um, acid path one says acid terrain uh, and one says um, uh, shit what's it called plane shift oh yeah so one and, says acid path one says acid terrain and one yeah. says plane shift and at that, what does that mean? they uh, both look up at you and start speaking in a language that you don't understand. And uh, let's get initiative. I... What? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, come on, bastard. Why are there. Uh, I got another natural 20. Okay. I'm going to do my page a refresh and we're going to go from here. Status manage. Uh, I can't comprehend languages as a. Uh, not as a. Called, uh, reaction? Not as a reaction, no. All right. All right. So, apparently, we made some friends somehow yes so, uh -huh. come on what the hell did i roll initiative i got eight okay okay once so, i go i think i might just actually uh roll what the hell where i uh Walk. i'll probably cast Kurtman comprehend languages 24 uh did i get Initiative from uh, Lilith as well. Lilith. I don't know. Lilith, where are you at? There we go. She's rolling. 12. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not great. I got sprayed in the face with acid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm getting screwed, I think, here again. So, um, let's go with Kripman. You see these things look up at you, and they they spot you. Oh shit! I was muted. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Do they appear to be immediately hostile? They do not appear to be impressed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I. Uh, You know what? I'm all I would do actually in this case um, is I would step to the side Maybe. of the, the door because we're talking like like how I guess like how big is an entry like the entrance or exit right like um I, it is probably twenty feet and you're twenty feet up yeah so I could like but I is it like a solid cutoff where I could like step to the side of it type of thing um. Yeah, you could step to the side. It's kind of like fuzzy, not a solid straight line, but yeah. yeah. Okay, so essentially, yeah, I would be looking to step to the side of it and uh, prepare to attack any scorpions that come through it. Okay. 
And... Uh, and I will say to everyone else, uh, get away from the opening. At okay. least. Uh, Iggy, you're up. I can't see anything. Kill them all. Uh, from where you are, you can't currently see anything. Unless you want to go do up I to the edge. What... Do I even know what's happening? Probably not. You just oh, heard well, what Deckard said. said. Stand away. I'll just, so. uh, I don't know. I'll just wait. Somebody said stand away from it. So I'll I said, away. yeah, get away from the opening. Uh, All right. we, or I guess I could say we've been spotted. Well, okay. get away from the we've opening and I'll tell, um, <laughs> I'll tell Hot Rod to take, uh, take our lady to safety. Okay. So Hot Rod oh, yeah. starts moving away. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got to put her. Yeah. Um, the enchanter about her. So. Alright. There is a, uh, a ball of acid that appears oh, right next to the window and then goes <laughs> So I need... Um, Kripman and Deckard to roll dexterity saving throws. Oh boy. Ah, I'm gonna lose another four. eye. <laughs> oh, gee. Let's see what I got. Mine's still in the air. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I heard it hit. This is, I'm, I'm adding all the, oh, nine, see, that's not bad. Nine damage. Yeah, nine acid damage. And Kripman falls prone, and we're still waiting on Deckard. Um, Sorry, Wait, why, guys. why do I fall prone? Because it is very oily, uh, and you right slip there. and fall prone. 18. Okay, you 18. take four points of damage and don't fall prone. Um, so then, um, another, the other one of these creatures climbs up and out and is at the edge where, uh, Kripman, you were, uh, you did have a readied action. You're prone, so you'd have disadvantage, I but don't. you can still attack. Uh... Yeah, I'm still going to take it. Screw it. Okay. I'll take the shot from the knee. All right. Uh, where am I looking? Right here. Ha. Huh. I rolled a six and a nine. Uh, <laughs> 13 to hit. <laughs> uh, that is a miss. And it will... Um... Swap at you with a claw, which is a 12, which is going to miss, and then its tail, which is a 14, which is going to miss. So, uh, I'm just, Lilith. Like, imagining that uh, scene in uh, any Scorpion movie where they're like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, this creature does not look natural, and not in the same way that the other ones don't look natural. Uh, it doesn't look like it was created by a wizard. It, it's not a beast, so... Can't talk to it? <laughs> Alright. How close am I to well, it? I uh, you're probably within uh, 30 feet. Okay. And it's already attacked? Yeah. Yes. I warned everyone, and then an ex a grenade basically went off the side of my head. Pretty so much, yeah. This is where we're uh, at now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this again, but I'm going to try and hit it with my crossbow. Okay. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll work. All right, to hit. I keep saying that, and every time it does hit. 18. 18 hits? Yep. I finally got it. I've been practicing. <laughs> I'm just going to say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven I'm damage. Hit this and hit it. All right. <laughs> So it takes seven damage, and I'm moving to take advantage of my heat register going off. Warm up my feet. So it takes seven damage, and what else would you like to do? Can 
Can I try and um, hit it again? Uh, I do you twice? don't have extra attack, but you right. are a moon druid, so you can wild shape as a bonus action. If mm. you want to change it to anything. I'm going to hold off. I'm okay. probably going to step back a bit from okay. it. Okay. And then Deckard. All right, I am going to cast um, Comprehend Languages. Okay. And I'm going to just, as I'm stepping away from that hole, I'm going to say, whoa, 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 guys, let's, let's chill out. Let's talk about this. I imagine that's probably all I can say, right? Um, pretty much. I'm pretty um, sure Comprehend Languages only allows you to read writing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tongues. Shit. You'd have to cast Tongues. Uh, damn, so never mind. Well, I, I, I'd be able to understand what they were saying, though, right? Uh, no, no. I'm pretty sure comprehend. It's not or very clear how the, the name of the spell. For the duration, honestly. you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. Spoken language. There we go. Oh, okay, um, never mind then. So anyway, so I'll, I'll still see if they're going to be saying anything. I'll start doing my my stuff, being like, no, no, no fight, no, like that. It says <laughs> if they can't figure it out, that's okay. I'm gonna look at Dick and be like, but we're well past that point. Up. It says yeah, but we will eat you up. all. Alright, I'm gonna tell everyone they're gonna kill us, so we might as well kill them. <laughs> they're gonna eat our brains, guys. Alright. How many of them are there? As far as you know, there are two. And an egg. And an egg. An egg. Oh, okay. Whew. A natural egg. 20 for Boya. Oh, she got fucking killed. Uh, Who cares? That's... I thought she was still a traitor. Why was she a traitor? Yeah, how's that work? Remember? From the, uh... From, from the, um, play. Oh, the curse. The curse. Yeah. What? She was kind of, uh, never helping us. Then. She had the traitor curse. That would what directly benefit one of her allies. That's true. So, yeah, I, th I think so she's she, just yeah. like hanging out, but she's not. That's why I said fire her. You're fired. Okay, so she does not help. She just stands back and watches. Uh, Until something happens. On the Are other you hand, Iggy? <laughs> we should have fired her years ago. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Valin, on the other hand, Here's is going to here. chill touch and get a 12. Uh, or 16 so to hit 12 damage. Which it takes. She should really learn firebolt or something, too. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, chill touch. Chill touch is basically necrotic firebolt. Chill point, not touch. Yep, yeah, chill point. Uh, so, Kripman, you are up. Uh, alright. Well, uh, I am going to, well, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stand my ass up. Uh, okay. And I am going to... We should totally take things. that egg and then when we rest, we'll eat it. Let's just have a giant scramble. Just scramble it? Yeah, sure, why not? It's probably disgusting, though. <laughs> make an omelette pot. out of it. Let's make it, uh, what are these? Um, poach it. Poach it. It's a giant poached egg. <laughs> Alright, um, what am I choosing to do? You should straight up kill the egg and see what they do. trying to think of how this is going to function okay and i don't know if it's going to work in theory this is more of just like in my brain here one of them has plane shift on it i still have banish as a spell okay and i'm thinking like does it belong on this plane mm. probably not 
I would say uh, it does. But then I'm just, you know, a bear of bad news, so. Well. You should listen to me, but you should do your own thing as well. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Okay, well, either way, so you know what? Either way, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna cast Banish on the one that's in my face. Okay. Uh, it is a... Wisdom? Uh, 15 cons, uh, Charisma save. Charisma, okay. And it rolls with advantage because of one of its things. So it gets an 18. It chitters oh. at you, and Decker, do you hear it say, Nice try, idiot. He called you an idiot. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> he'll see who's laughing when we're done with this shit. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing with my bonus action? The idea is right, though. Um... I'm not. Don't, I don't think I'm doing anything with my bonus action because it's all garbage right now. Okay. Uh, yep. That is what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything, unfortunately. All right. Um, stepping out of, uh, just the air near you are a pair of creatures that are like humanoid, ram-headed goats. Oh no, they're gonna try to have sex with us. These are the mad bear pigs. Um, <laughs> man, man, goat rams. Man, goat rams. Aren't they so... the satyrs or whatever you call them? Satyrs? Satyrs? And then those guys are. Yeah. So that's just straight up rapey. Yeah, they could be. They were pretty awful in, in Greek. Uh, yeah. yeah. They were. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And I am a very yeah. handsome. A uh, bear now. <laughs> You're a man bear. I forgot I was a bear. You are a man bear. bear pig. <laughs> Maybe there's like a man yeah. bear. There's so okay. many people here in the zoo, maybe. So, they both... <laughs> um, let me... I'm going to move this over so it's kind of getting both of you. And then I'm going to add this so that you can the see them. Uh, at source... Browse, uh, find, oh, there we go. All this for nothing, right? And now well, the we'll creature is on the, uh, stream as well for you guys. Uh, the humanoids. So it's very, oh. it's very strange that, uh, you know, there's no, there's no nine-tailed invisible fox. BRB. But there's all these other different things inside, inside this uh, uh, place. Eh? Well, these these two humanoids didn't come from one of the um, dioramas. They just stepped out of thin air. They uh, they apparently came from somewhere. And they oh, plane shift and thing, right? They both smash their horns into this grethk. Uh, or this uh, this scorpion creature, and then try to hit it with their spears, but they both miss with their spears. So they both deal um, together nineteen. They came and appear to be hunting the scorpions. Appear to be. They both deal nineteen piercing damage, and as the runes on their horns spark up uh they also deal uh two and four so six points of lightning damage which the scorpion creature uh reacts to pretty badly screaming and the uh oh, one of the two rams shouts if you can do lightning lightning bolt lightning bolt <laughs> so Are speaking in common in common yes uh iggy you're up 
<laughs> Inside check. I don't know if I trust them. Go for it. <laughs> just some random people. That's not how inside checks They literally checks just work, showed up. Right? Yeah, they literally did. I mean, it's, it's not completely unreasonable, but... I mean, I it showed up out of really... nowhere. It attacked the creature and said, use lightning. Yeah, I'm trusting but I'm, I'm just saying, right. isn't the, the way we were talking about insight before is you'd have to, to know the person. You have to know the person to really it. pull insight, yeah. Yeah, but I have to know uh, if they're that's... trying to lie to me right now. I know. The I'm giant scorpions attacked us and they're helping us Come kill on. the giant scorpions. In There's not much life, more to read into the situation. In real life, when people are being interrogated by cops and stuff, they're always looking for signs of them lying. That's yeah, you... And they've never met yeah, any. I mean, they're before. they're not facing you. You just make it up. They're not facing you, That's so you're tough. you're not able to read their expression. So yeah. you're just pulling it from yeah. what they have done. That's really all you can goat, pull your insight read from. Goat face. Well, they're um, read that goat face that's you just, in this you'd see their terrible. first ghost goat lips. I'd be like, yeah. Weird. <laughs> Are they wearing metal armor? They are wearing some metal and uh, <laughs> some fur. All right, good to know. I will. I guess uh, these Game things are still trying to kill us, so I'll kill one of these. Hopefully, I'll okay. shoot the. Uh, I'll just shoot the um, scorpion guy. Okay. Oh, natural one. Okay. Well, that shot is my one. gun. My gun seizes on my first just... attack of the game. Uh, so. It was not made with a bow or crossbow, so next one. Um, I might I shoot mean, this guy by accident. doesn't really matter, but the projectile <laughs> cannot be recovered. So it goes wide <laughs> and into the diorama, and just wherever this Wait. extra dimensional wilderness is, it just goes. Do I, do I shoot one of the... Um, one of the uh, Weasels by accident? <laughs> no, right. different di diorama. <laughs> All right. Maybe well, there was um, there was one of the chameleon foxes that got away, and you hit the chameleon fox, and you see it suddenly become visible and <laughs> out of one of the trees. Oh my god! Great right shot. <laughs> well, since that didn't That's work. what I meant to do. Right? Now we know, <laughs> well, of a I'll run forward and I'll try to smash it with my my uh, morning star, my ghoul's caress morning star. Okay. Nineteen plus. Yeah. Oh 20. yeah, that that definitely hits. Now it's gonna do nine damage. All right, nine, nine damage. Piercing. Okay. Ah. That's it for me. All right. It is their turn. Um, the other what one that mean? climbs... What's that? No, no Decker? Not yet. You're you're oh. ne near Last to the bottom step. of the round. Okay, okay. Just make sure the, uh, the two goats, I, I rolled their initiative, and they rolled a natural 20 on their initiative. So they went right after Crippen. Oh, shit. Uh, so the scorpion thing climbs up uh, the enclosure, it's still outside, but it's within 10 feet of, uh, it's within 10 feet of Crippman, so, uh, and it would be within 10 feet of Deckard as well, um, unless you moved, which you didn't say you moved. Me? I said I would have moved away from the window. Oh, did you? Okay. Then yeah. it's just Crippman, and so it... Rolls for it. Oh. oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Uh, you can still go at me. Okay. It's all good. So, a 25 with its claw and a 13 with its tail. All right. Well, the first one will hit. Definitely. So, 13 so clamps, yeah. points of uh, piercing damage with that claw. It's um, probably the worst of the two, to, or the better of the two to take, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and then uh, it is, the other one is going to go for one of the goats. 
uh, 12 and a 17. The 17 hits, dealing, uh, that's going to be 11. I don't know why it's not coming up. Because my, my, I'm making everything okay. slow today. <laughs> so the goat does do a little uh, bleat of okay. pain. And we're up to Lilith. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling bad. <laughs> so the goats are, are they the loving these guys, or, right? are helping us. They appear, the to, be appear helping. to be helping us. Okay. Um. So only one has crossed the barrier. Um. The yes, only descend. one has gone through. Yeah, I know it uh, dropped. Uh, our stream didn't drop, but the yeah, yeah, Discord did. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, but like, there's. So I'm just trying to imagine. There's like a window that they're crawling out of, right? Yeah. Okay. And one is so, on the outside, one is climbing up uh, the edge, and it's able to swing its tail in. Um, could I cast Anti-Life Shell, uh, where that one's coming in? Uh, a shimmering barrier extends out from you in a 10-foot radius and moves with you. So I probably would have to move forward, remaining centered and hedging out creatures other than undead and constructs. Would these be considered constructs if they were uh, made? They don't appear to be constructs. All right, so it prevents an affected creature from passing or reaching through. They can cast spells or make attacks with a ranged or reach weapons through the barrier. Okay. Um, you, have seen, keep... you have seen that they're, they do have quite a bit of reach with their both their tails and their claws. So. All right. So in that case, then I'm going to cast a uh, flaming spear. <laughs> spear um, <at> them. <laughs> one thing, in case you've got a spell ready for it, uh, one of the goat people did say uh, use lightning. Yeah. So, so if you got lightning, no. Or if you got a lightning no. spell, it would probably be the best. But you could still use. So just, just bear with me, sorry, because I really liked your first idea, because yep. that spell pushes um, enemies back, right? It does. So it that's true. Them, it, it forces them back. So could she not just push them off the ledge? Because we that's established possible. this is yep. like twenty feet in the air, right? Yep. So if you wanted to, that's not honestly a terrible idea. That's true. No. Uh, well, I can give it a try, so I'll try and cast Anti-Life yeah. Hell. Okay. Um, and then, uh, I have to, I have to, like, kick the other guy or kick him off? <laughs> so, just imagine, it's, it, it would be essentially, like, forming a barrier kind of wall, them. and it would just force them, yeah, it just pushes them for you. Yeah. So, it, it would just, like, appear in front of you, uh, like, ten feet in front of you, and just forcibly pushes them back. Alright, so I'm gonna move so that I'm not uh, pushing any of my cohorts back. So I'm gonna move in front of them and cast the spell um, so that they can't get any closer. Okay. Um... And push them off the ledge. And push them off yep. the ledge. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure that, okay, so um, if you move with it and try to push them, that will end the spell, but if you move right up to them and then cast it, it'll push them. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so... Does that count as both my, my actions? Um, that, that would be an action. Uh, you would still have your bonus action if you want to change into, uh, if you want to use your wild shape, but that is up to you. Uh, they don't get a, uh, they don't get a save. They just get pushed. So, okay. um, that's going to be 
Um, I will say B does get a save to see if it can hold on to the edge of the thing. Um, because it is a 10 foot barrier, right? 10 foot radius? Yeah. So it can try to uh, hold on to the edge. Uh, and it definitely does. So it's holding on to the edge of the window. Um, but the other one falls 20 feet and will take uh, 2d6 damage when it lands. It's only four, but that's that. And did you want to use your wild shape or no? When I'm an air, air elemental, that can't use lightning or anything. It, I'm just like resistant to lightning damage. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay in my form for now. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I don't have any lightning spells. Okay. Uh, prepared. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no worries. Same boat. And I'm mostly in the useless bonus action category still. <laughs> uh, Deckard, you're up. All right. So, I was thinking. Where's that phantasmal force? Uh... I was hoping they'd both fall, but. Yeah. It. It rolled a 17 on its athletics check to hold on to the edge of the uh, window. How how big is is that um, the cloud of daggers again? Five feet. Five feet. Okay. And so if I did phantasmal force, is it uh, goes? How how big are these uh, scorpions? They're they're uh, large, large, so so foot. they take up four squares. Yeah. And it so is so coming a... through that twenty foot uh, window. If I take up half the thing, for like saying a ten foot cube with my a phantasmal force, so that the, basically the creature wouldn't want to come through it because they think that it's like a lightning storm happening, right? Yep. So I might want to try that. And then it, so it should be, yeah, it'd be a lightning storm. Uh, it'd be a 10 foot cube of a lightning storm that's only perceivable to the one target that's actually hanging on the, okay. I guess, on the edge. And then it's got to do uh, intelligence investigation check against my DC. My DC is 15. Okay. And where are you placing it? Pretty much at that window where it's holding okay. on. So it would be like half the so, window. So the one creature okay. would be afraid to come in because it would be a lightning storm. Right. So it would still be... Uh, it would be over that area, so it would, holding on to the edge, be in that uh, cube? Yeah, in, in Touching kind the cube. of the window cube. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Just checking to see uh, um, whether it would take damage. If it fails, which it still does with a 13, even though it had advantage. So... Um, it thinks it's real, and uh, it's each round on your turn, you can cause it to deal damage, so you can cause it to ca uh, deal 1d6 psychic damage, unless you know yeah. it doesn't allow upcasting, so. Yeah, it's, it's all the same, yeah, so. Okay, so just 1d6? Yep. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys, I forgot that uh, this takes forever. No worries. <laughs> I should have just had somebody else roll it. I Remember, can roll it if you want. It's my dice. I should just keep rolling that. Yeah, you might as well roll it because this is taking okay. a long time. All right. So that's three points of psychic damage. Um, and... and it probably doesn't want to go near the house there. Oh, no. And actually, I'm going to say because it's vulnerable and it believes it's real, it's going to take an extra three. It's going to double it. Um, it believes that it's real. So yeah, it believes it's real lightning. Yeah. So. Right, lightning, real lightning. 
Um, Power thirst. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she is Oya's up, and she doesn't want to help. So Valin does not have any lightning, so she's just gonna chill touch it and is gonna miss. So Kripman. In order to get through, you have to do um, a ranged or reach attack. Yeah, no, I'm, that, that's all right. I'm not. Uh, so there's, but there's still the one on the edge, right? Yeah, it's still on the edge. It hasn't yeah, come to its just... turn, so it hasn't decided whether it's going to uh, let go or not. Yeah, well, I'm going to help it make its decision. Uh, I would like to stand over top of it like I'm about to teabag it over the edge and just like <laughs> two-handed swing my warhammer down on its head to like... Okay. Oh, and just... by the way, Deckard, you see that thunderstorm because you believe all of your illusions that you create are real. Oh, yeah. I forgot oh, about wait, that. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm staying away from it as well. Yeah. Because I'm like, God damn! That's a huge thunderstorm I'm creating because <laughs> it's amazing. Wait, you guys uh, can this? I... I no one else can see it. Only the okay, Scorpion okay. and Deckard. Okay. And I'm like going like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> God. My God, man, I'm an amazing magician. Sorry, magician. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm just going to ask. Do, yep. do I get advantage because it's kind of prone? Yes. I will give you advantage <laughs> on that. All right. Uh, nice. Uh, twenty-four. Ooh, yeah, that hits. Uh, all right. Oh, that's. Uh, it will uh take seven damage. All right. And um, I will give it another athletics check to hold on for a twenty, so it does hold on. Son of a bitch. Uh, uh, then I am going to. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to summon my. Uh... What's it called? Which one? Spiritual call weapon. Magic weapon. Yes, that one. Okay. Right. Yes. Uh... But I'm going to cast at second level. Okay. Just uh, extra. God damn it. Wait. Yeah, it's an extra D8. Okay, perfect. Um, so we're going to cast that. Okay. Um, I would like to instruct it to go to the underbelly of said scorpion that is hanging on the cliff and punch it in the soft underbelly all right because i'm imagining this is just like you said a, a, a floating window right so it can yep so it's just kind of like dangling there yep all right perfect um oh some bitch uh 10 to hit 10 is a miss that's sad okay so, well, these that's the guys, animator. Um, no, it can't do that. So, all they can do is throw their spears, um, which they'll have to do. That's all they can do. Um, because they can't move through the anti-life shell. So. Oh, they were uh, debating about hopping down. 21. Well, they've got, uh, they were going to go after it if it hadn't been pushed through. So they do both hit when throwing. So that's six and four is 10 points of damage on him. And he's going to make 
two athletics checks to stay on. Uh, that's going to be a pass. And then a fail. And he falls and takes 2d6, which is going to be eight more points of bludgeoning damage as it falls. And uh, ah, yeah. nerd. it lands and the two of them immediately step back so they're away from the uh, um, whatchamacallit. And as they step back, their spears come back and return into their hands with a uh, flash of the runes on them. Man. What do the runes say? Or just return. Oh, just I'm gonna like, man, where can I find one of those? <laughs> Uh, so, Iggy, you're up. Um, am I... Well, I'm stuck, uh, behind this, uh, barrier too? Yes, you can shoot through, but you can't move through. Oh, my gun's not working. That's true. You can cast a spell through. Yeah, I can pull out my little clockwork dragon and shoot a fireball. Um, you would have to... Yeah, you'd have to go up to the edge, but you would be able to get through because it's only a 10-foot radius sphere. Here, I'll go up to the edge and fire a fireball and then run away. Okay. Okay, I'd be like, I don't, I don't, we don't want to group up too much here. We know it can basically yeah. shoot a grenade at us here, so. 14 hit. 14 is a miss. All right, oh, now run away. Run away! <laughs> All right. Um, and then it is their turn. Uh, the first one that fell. You know what? Give me a highs or lows. Anyone? Yes. Highs. Highs? Okay. That's right. Highs. And you're sure about that? Always sure. Always sure. Okay. So it was, so A was landed on by B, so it takes an extra two damage from its fellow falling on it. And now it's going to climb up. It does not see the thunderstorm because that was cast on B. Um, is, is Comprehend it's Languages... vulnerable to lightning. <laughs> is Comprehend Languages a... Uh, um, concentration. Oh, concentration. I know it here. Where is my comprehend language? Uh, the hell does it say that? Self action. Duration. Verbal. Duration just is one hour. Okay. So you hear, uh, you hear the one that's still inside say, "Be careful of the lightning." And the other one doesn't listen and climbs through, <laughs> climbs up to the top yeah. and will, um, you know what? It's just going to drop you, um, one of the sets of runes glows on it and Deckard, you see it's the acid path. And I need Lilith and one of the uh, goats, goats to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Look it out, it's one. shooting acid! I'm going to get hit. All right. Mm, 14. 14. Uh, that is not enough, so you're going to take full damage as well. As a line of acid on the ground just um and actually it's uh oh man why is this covering that five feet wide okay that's because it's acid <laughs> so <laughs> both you and the uh and the goat Take 39 points of acid damage. Good thing you're a tank, Lilith. Eh? 
Uh, Look, that's nine, so that is this guy. Uh, so she's a druid now. Well, depends on how you build your druid. <laughs> I'm pretty okay. tanky. I need you out of the way, buddy. So the goat that got hit falls and just starts dissolving in the acid. Oh fuck. And... No. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, we never knew you. Um, and then the other one is going to make. Uh, and wait, wait, wait. did his spear dissolve in the acid? Uh, yes. Damn it! It is dissolving oh, as well. Um, so the other one, uh, at the end of its turn realizes the other scorpion at the end of its turn realizes oh hey that is not uh lightning storm it's not real um lilith you're up uh hmm i still have my my spell on uh the... you do but remember if you it only pushes creatures when you cast it, not when you move. It ends if you try to use it to push someone after casting. Yeah, but I can still, like, throw stuff or cast through it, right? Uh, yes, you can, yeah. All right. Um, and how many are there? There's still just the two? Yeah. yeah. Are they kind of in the same area? Uh, they, they are 20 yet? feet away. One's at the bottom, one's at the top. What's that, Patrick? I was wondering if they're bloodied yet. Uh, one of them's definitely bloodied. Okay. The one that is at the top is not. I'm going to uh, transform into an air elemental although okay. i know i can't use um, lightning but i can do a bludgeoning attack okay um so uh, i roll a d20 first right yes so i'm gonna try and do a bludgeoning to the closest uh okay. one from me oh for fuck's sakes five <laughs> and what's the plus uh, oh, right. Um, it's probably not going to be enough, but just check. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, DC 13 strength saving flow. Uh, okay. Well, what would the plus be? Would it be on. It would be on the attack. Strength, or... It should say the attack is like slam under actions. Oh, sorry, plus eight. Plus eight, okay. So not enough to hit. Uh, um, and yeah, so that is a miss. I can't uh, do two slam attacks? Oh, that right, only if does I it say right, well, Does it say multi-attack on it? It does, yeah. Okay, so you can well, make a second. Says, um, yeah, it says multi attack. So, okay, I can try yeah. one more time. So you can make one more attack. Yeah. 15 plus 8. There you go. That one hits. All right. And then it is a um, 3d8 plus 2. All right. Okay. 20. Ooh. That was almost max damage. So that Ooh. one takes a bunch. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to blow him down into the fucking hole. <laughs> he is going to roll an athletics to see if he can hold on. Uh, 21, yeah, he definitely does. Uh, Deckard, you're up. Okay, so... You scrambled his spit um, in his own face. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm going to look at that guy, and I'm going to Witch Bolt him. Ooh, yeah. So um, it's going to be... Is it? I can't... Second level? I don't know. I rolled... I got second level still. 
Third level. We'll do third level witch bolt. Sorry, everything's okay. so slow. I can tell. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm still weed. I'm witch bolting. One of the two. Auto I guess I'm gonna find out which one I clicked on. I thought it was third. But... We'll see if it hits. Right, guys. Fifteen. Fifteen to hit. That is a miss. Reminder, you guys do have four good boy oh, cards. Oh, no way. Somebody, next person, pull a good boy card, and I'll step you can, a little bit more You can more pull it side. if you want to pull one now. Oh, I'll let the next person, yeah, next person up to pull one. Anyone 15, can pull one at any time. Next um, person, pull one. Okay. For sure. So, Oya is not helping. What a week. Yep. What's up, Pat? No, I was just trying to figure out. I said, God damn. Like, I, was trying oh, to figure which, I, said, uh, I thought you said yeah, wait. I said third level, right? Yep. No, no, go ahead. I got I to gotta make <sighs> sure I put off my spell that I wasted. <laughs> Belinda does terribly. Uh, so, Critman, you're up. Um, I think I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time and just okay. convince it to go away by hitting it in the face. All right. Um... Like, I'm half tempted to banish it again, but <laughs> it seemed like, I just want to do it to prove a point, Yeah. but it, it seems like a waste at this point, especially considering I'm only on slots, so um, I'm more concerned about saving some of that for later, or at least in case we don't die. Uh, so yes, I'm just going to, uh, I'm actually going to re-equip my shield, and I'm going to one-handed or hammer it in the face okay uh, well that is a miss i get advantage for it still hanging on yes i'll give you advantage okay 18 yeah that's it excellent uh it is seven damage all right and I'm going to, uh, where is it? No, oh, not that one. Uh, yes, that's it. This one. Uh, when I, I'm going to use my War Priest ability and use my bonus. Oh, wait. That counts as a bonus action. No. I want my bonus action to have my. Uh, spiritual weapon? Yep. My spiritual weapon to attack. Go for I it. I thought it was a free. It, I thought it was just an additional attack. Nope, uh, because I upcasted my spiritual weapon, I would like that to swing. Alright. Uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Excellent. Um, upcasted is 2 d right? Yes. So it will take average <laughs> uh, average 11 damage all right so that is that um uh lilith did you drop your uh anti-life shell no okay so, on. so the oh, yeah. if it's just concentration you don't have to if it's yeah you can hold it yeah right just checking uh so the goat goes off to the side and runs uh diagonally so that he can get past your shell and uh slams his head into the creature missing um but i do keep giving critman advantage so i'm gonna give him advantage too 
Which doesn't matter, because he rolled a one on the second one. So, um... And then, so misses with the running gore attack, but hits with the normal one, so is still going to deal some lightning damage on that. So, nine piercing. He got himself a little wrapped up himself. Yeah. And eight lightning. And uh, it's going to hold on with disadvantage because of the lightning damage and it falls uh, 2d6 is another 6 damage and highs or lows anyway I feel like it shouldn't even be a highs? question anymore <laughs> like... I should just roll and decide if you're you decide that you're gonna say you're, you're just be like, yeah. I'm rolling a fifty fifty high uh, I'm I'm assuming <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming high. You just tell us you're rolling a fifty fifty and we win or not. <laughs> At least once this game. So, Come on. It did fall and land on its friend. So that's another seven points of damage on the one that's on the ground. And um the Hunter steps back, um, but Lilith is still next to the window, so the window stays open. Um, Iggy, you're up. Yeah, I don't think the window's closing because I'm like standing over this one and just like pounding yeah. her in the face. I will fire another fireball. Okay. The closest one. So an 18 hit. 18 hits. Um, so they're both next to each other. Do you want to go for the weaker one? The bloodied one? Yeah, nail the bloodied one with 14 fire. Okay. Blasted that. And you only get one, right? Yeah, because it's 2d10 now. So yes. Okay. Um... So the yeah, it's just gonna climb back up and attack. Uh, there are there are three people there now, so I'm gonna roll a d6 to find who attacks. Uh, so that is that's gonna be Lilith uh, with. A tail slam for a 24 to hit and a 27 to hit. I'm pretty sure both of those will hit a uh, an air elemental. So that is 19 points of bludgeoning damage to your air elemental form. Um, oh, actually, 11 okay. plus 5. <laughs> 16 plus 8 is uh, 24. Your air elemental, not your regular health. Yeah, no, I gotcha. Okay. So what are you down to, Ma? For my air elemental? Yeah. 66. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said I'm dead, and I was like, no, 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 to your air elemental, not to you. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> <Okay>. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, so the other one can't climb up, so we're back to Lilith. All right, so they're both on the ground? Uh, one's on the ground, and one is up in your face. Oh, well, I'm going to try and punch the one that's in my face. Okay. One. I'm going to try again <laughs> to punch the one that's um, in my and face. And actually, advantage. So this next roll is your second roll for that. I've been giving Crippman advantage. Everyone should be getting advantage on their... Uh... <laughs> I just, Everyone... I mean, like, I feel like it's dangling there. Yeah, the exactly. Edge, like... Why can't I just kick this guy off? I rolled a one on my advantage. So, <laughs> so uh, Tender, you take a 1d6 penalty to your next attack roll. So you do oh, have... Um... Can I can I pull a good boy card? Sure. Oh yeah, probably. 
Good boy card. I don't know what that is. Polygot, you learn a new language. Oh. So. Uh, cool. Yeah. Any language you want, you learn. Um, All right. <laughs> Uh, so you do have advantage on your next attack as well, because you All got right. multi-attack. So one more, one one more. Okay, uh, yeah. come on, give me something here. Fucking hell three! <laughs> advantage, so roll again. Okay. What Ryan, do you want to roll three? <laughs> come on, D20, come on. Let me punch him in the face. No, I can't help you with punching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was that. I tried yeah. four times. <laughs> what right. new language did you learn? I don't and... know. What's a good What's a good language to know? What's I know common, draconic, words? druidic, dwarvish, telepathy. Uh... You don't know telepathy anymore. Yeah, I think well, when I'm wild shaped, I have telepathy. Yeah, oh, okay. well, wild shaped, she has telepathy. Because I have to talk to you guys. Yeah. But, um. What do the scorpions? Yeah, I don't know. No. What, you what's, a, what's a language that's good chirp. to have? What? I get chirp. Halflings have like a chirping. Uh, yeah. Halflings, yeah, they uh, they sound like uh, um. Their language is like uh, chipmunks. Hmm. Hmm. You could learn something very exotic. You could learn the scorpion language. You could learn the scorpion language. You could. Uh, Are you yeah, going to meet any more of these scorpions? Who knows? But it's a freak. It's a freak card for a freak encounter. That's true. That's the fun hmm. of D and D. I feel you like. Learn... Um, elemental. Primordial. Ooh, is that a language? Oh, primor there's primordial. Yep. There's yeah. celestial. Or thieves can't. Thieves can't. What's thieves can't? Uh, sign language for uh, thieves. Basically. Yeah. And you might also get, like, the couple of little, like, winks and nudges thrown in there. But yeah. it's like... Hobo, uh, the, the hobo markings just, as like, well. Yeah. That's a pop. I, I have no idea. Um, let's do primordial because that sounds fun. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nobody, so, speaks primordial. Primordial. <laughs> Nobody speaks primordial, primordial okay. but someone someone might. Um, Deckard, you're up. Okay. So, hmm, I guess shit. I'm running out of spell slots. Uh, fourth level, Witch Bolt, but I'm going to pull a card first. Okay. Pull a card. We also have been dealing with languages that are older than Draconic. Like we're talking like I guess Draconic that's not level. Too bad. Netherese, yeah, you could learn Netherese. Well, no, no, so I'm just saying like mean... Primordial is probably not a bad thing to know. Yep, that's true. Dealing with ancient languages as it is. Yep, Primordial and Netherese are good ones. Guy. But uh, the one that you pulled is right tool for the job. So you have a tool that you will be required to complete any one task in the future. Okay, cool. You got to remind me of that. I'll um, try to remember. <laughs> yeah. With that, uh, the witch will uh, do I get advantage like you guys were saying? Or is that? Uh, no, because you're not doing a uh, melee attack. Yeah, but he's he's pretty easy to hit, right? Technically, you should have disadvantage if they're getting advantage. But I'm not going to give you disadvantage on it. Why would I get disadvantage? Because it's ranged. It yeah, if, if something's... But prone, I'm far enough away, aren't I? Because I kept well, no. moving back a couple times. No, if something's prone, you gain an advantage on it when you're in melee range, but you gain disadvantage on when it when you're in range. When you're, oh, yeah, time. using ranged. Uh, but 19 is right, a hit. Okay. Well, 9... All right, thank God. So hold on, that was... I had to use a fourth level. Yeah. So this is going to hurt him. 
Yeah. Give me a sec, guys. All right, this is in my computer. It's gonna. It's a lot of dice. <laughs> yeah, forty twelve is <laughs> gonna take your uh, computer a little time. Uh, my poor computer. This is Deckard scene yeah. uh, reenacting. Just because there's other there. stuff running too, so. Oh yeah. Just this. Got what? Steam and a game running as well. I do. Uh, <laughs> no, reenacting the emperor uh, when he's zapping Luke when Luke is hanging. Yeah. Uh, it's it sounds oh, like oh, oh 31. Yes. So that is 62 points of damage. Hold up one second. We are going slow. Sorry. Hi. Sorry. One second. There we go. Well, yes, we are glitching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his computer's going slow. You gonna say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. There you go. Yeah, you saw your answer now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, a good hit. All right. Um, Did it die? Not quite, but it is really, really hard done by. Uh, so they're both pretty hard done by now. Oh, it's worse than the other one. Uh, and Valin rolls another two on her, uh, um, on her, what you call them? I'm it just gonna holds look at her on. and say, "You're lucky. You're smart." <laughs> says that is that is a good thing yes um Critman, you're up uh i would like to continue to bash its head and then bash its belly okay um twenty one to hit all right twenty one is a hit uh, it will do eight damage. All right. And then uh, twenty-one to hit for the spiritual weapon. Oof, yeah. Uh, we got terrible, shitty. Uh, eight damage. All right. It is a stiff breeze could take this out. Um, and this time it rolls terribly on its athletics, so it falls 20 feet. <laughs> uh, and I'm assuming highs. Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. It, uh... <laughs> Its uh, carapace cracks open as it lands on its partner, who is also going to take 2d6 uh, for 10 points. And it screams, and yeah, no! Wait, and so it died when it fell? On it died head. from falling. Oh my god. You, uh, yes. it, killed its, it yes. killed its partner. That's awesome. <laughs> landing on its landing on his partner killed it. Yeah, <laughs> it crushed it. I have no hard feelings about that. So uh, the hunter goes to the edge and will throw his spear for a miss. It flashes and returns, and he throws it again for a natural twenty to hit. Um. Pierced thigh, double damage. So, that's going to be 6, so 12 points of piercing damage. And huh, 2, because it's vulnerable, times 2 is 4 points of lightning damage. And then Iggy, you are up. It is not doing well. All right. A fire a fireball at it. Alrighty. Fourteen. Fourteen is a miss. Uh, that didn't go well. That's all I can do. Alright. 
Um, oh, geez. I'm about to sneeze, but I don't know when it's coming. Um, <laughs> so. Stare at a bright light. <laughs> uh, it is going to. Um, yeah. It puts its claws on its egg, and then um, the uh, plane shift uh, rune that's along its tail flashes, and it whoop, disappears. Um, the hunter I'm gonna look to the... says, yeah, just damn it. Well, I'll look down at the the one uh, the dead one and be like, "Well, we went one for one at least." Uh, yes, but they are difficult to track. Was it disappeared again? Yes. Yeah. Plane shifted away. Somewhere. Well, fuck me. Um. So which um, display did you guys come out of? It says came from no display. I find out all the other ones. I'm like, so you're some sort of goat man? Uh, what? You think? What? No, he probably came from another plane. It says, yes, we are not from this world. And we I mean... are not one of these creations, neither of Neither are the graphic. They came here to and lay their egg. Well, we spooked it away at least, so it's not, you know, as safe. So they lay one egg? No, uh, they lay one egg every 30 or 40 years. Still difficult to eradicate them all. Is the egg still there? No, it took the egg with it. Oh, well, so the egg. Yeah. That would have been a good idea, but needed to kill the mother first. So which should we kill, the mother or father? Uh, there's really no difference. Is there like a, a solid point in the, the hallway that we're in that we can like attach some a rope to? No. So we can like climb up and climb up and down. Nope. Um. Wait, can we use hot rod as a uh, as a weight? <laughs> as an anchor point? Yeah. Depends how much you're trying to pull up. Yeah. He doesn't weigh much more than you might weigh more than he does, actually. That's true. Like I'm, I, I didn't think I like I'm solid, but I'm not that solid. Well, actually, I have the world's biggest purse of coin purse of silver. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a mini, mini trunk of silver on me still right now. Um, because I want to go down there and like inspect the body, but like, mm -hmm. I don't want to do so. That'll hurt. How, how much rope do we even have? I mean, do we not have any more? Rope? I guess we don't have. Any we, we tried to do that rope oh, thing I, before, but I think we took it all back, right? We didn't just leave it there. I uh, have last us and I know I last have I remember, stuff. yeah. No, I'm out of rope. I have my rope still. So. You didn't take back your hundred yard, like your hundred feet of rope. No, nope. uh, no, there was a couple instances that we did leave rope behind. Oh, yeah. Not like not a whole bunch, but there was a. Couple Mm -hmm. Um, that sucks because I want to anchor it to something and go down there without hurting myself. Wait. No, we don't. Have... Wait. What do you want to get from down there? Because I can fly. I'm still I in just... my air elemental. I just want to inspect the scorpion corpse. Uh, how heavy is it, Brad? Oh, it's pretty heavy. 
it's, it's like the size of a rhinoceros, right? Yeah, it's huge. How heavy, uh, how, how strong is the air elemental? Could I take you down? What's the strength? I carry you down, carry you um, strength is 14 plus 2, so not okay. that strong. Not that strong, no. <laughs> Alright, um, I mean, I can go look at it. What do you want, you want me to go do an, um, an investigation on it? I just want to, I'm just more concerned about the runes, if we can copy them, because, uh, the runes appeared to light up whenever an effect, they were able to trigger an effect. So well, can I can I go down and like just look at that so I could take like a I could copy it down somewhere when I'm in or back in my form. Yet, take Decker. He like the magic's things. not just in the room; it's yeah. in the creature itself. Yeah, you could use it probably as a catalyst for one of those spells. In addition to other expected ingredients, can I like cut off the tail? Uh, take, tail's uh, probably about the size the of a right? Labrador. But you could That's you could so try, bad. yeah. Take Iggy or uh, Decker down. I'm sure one of them could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to pull the thing apart? They're also lighter, so. Who wants yeah. who wants to go down, Iggy or Decker? I'll go down. That's a bear. Is he he's a bit heavier though than Iggy now. He's yeah. not human anymore. So I'm not, I'll take Iggy oh, down because right. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take a bear. <laughs> so Iggy, I'll I'll fly you down there. What do you guys want? Uh, I'm interested in the, uh, the plane shifting room, specifically. The plane shifting room? Hmm. Yes. Along the tail? Do I think I could even harvest that? Plane shift's pretty, pretty tough spell. Um, I mean, you could take the tail, or you could take the, take time to take the plates. Or you could copy it down, but... What do I think is the best chance of success? I mean, it would probably be easiest to copy it down. Breaking off the plates has a chance to break the rune, and so does cutting the tail off. What do you feel like, Cribbon? Well, take a copy of it, and then we can try and extract it if, after that if we want. Okay, okay, I'll try to copy it. Okay. Uh, just give me an Arcana check. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, you can you can copy it really uh, accurately. Okay, I'll do that. However long it takes. Okay. It'll um, probably. Brad, is there any... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Is there any poison or anything that I can, like, harvest from the tail uh, that I it, might be able to use? It does not appear to be venomous. Oh, um, that might take a while, actually. What level is acid plane shift? Plane shift is, uh, is it... It's not the actual spell, eight. is it? It, it? I didn't think it was the actual spell. I thought it was just a rune that... So they somehow triggered to plane shift. It is a rune that they triggered, but it's basically like the uh, seventh level spell. Um, oh, right. so you can't yeah. put the magic into it, but you can copy the form of it. <laughs> Grabman, this will take me about seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought that no, I thought that's only if you're putting, <laughs> that's only if you're actually making it a spell. It would take seven hours. I guess I can write down the. Um... The draconic of it. I don't know if it has anything. There's so no it's not. It, it's not like a spell. Spell. It is just a rune. So you can copy yeah. the rune, but actually putting the magic into the rune, you would have to uh, be able to cast that level spell, and you would have to put the magic into it, which would be the seven hours. Yeah. All right. I'll explain that to the thing beyond my abilities. But well, I can I'm... I can write this down for you. Yes, I want I want a copy of the actual like rune itself. I'm not too concerned about it being imbued with magic at this point in time. Okay. okay. It can yeah. still be what used level as a is spell trigger. Is it, Seventh. I could do it. 
Aren't I level 12? Uh, so you're level 12. Oh, no, 12, I'm level but... 6. I'm yeah, like, I'm you've level got six, six level spells. So, so, yeah. I'm right below. Yeah, never mind. It would be so great if they would change Look. the wording on that <laughs> so that it's not character level and spell level because that gets yeah. confusing. I'm so close, guys. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Another 30 years and then I'll be able to, yeah. <laughs> to do it. All right. So it probably takes you 20 or 30 minutes to accurately get it down. And yeah. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll fly you back up. Alrighty. Are you gonna try and take the uh to the scale or Do you wanna come? I can try. Like you can yeah, that's what I was saying, is you can try okay. and copy it and then once it's copied then we can try and take it so that Alright. If we um, ruin it we at least right. have a My um, bag's basically full though. It's full of uh uh, Pharaoh skin, foreskin, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's all right. Well, I can uh, I can always throw down a rope and I can like haul up the tail. Yeah, it's about as it's heavy as a Labrador. Yeah, yeah, I can I, haul I up can... A, a dog. Easy. Yeah, she can. So it's about as heavy as Iggy is. Yeah. Or is Iggy smaller than a lab? <laughs> How big are you? A little small. guy. So. Have you ever seen Willow? Yeah. <laughs> no, size, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. But yeah. I can yeah. bring up yeah. You can you can get it uh all up, so I'll need a uh say a nature check to cut it uh to try to cut it out. For me? Yep. Without breaking a portion of it. Uh-oh. I'm not proficient. Is that okay? That's okay. Um, I could try it. Yeah, you could get her to try. Oh, but I'm still an air elemental. Can I do it as, in that form? You can do it in that form, yes. Form. Because it's you still have your mental abilities. So, yeah. You would still use your own... Me to try? Right. I'm make, a plus four, but I'm, I've been rolling really shitty. <laughs> so I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, nature. Eight. God damn it! <laughs> you should no. have done it, Iggy. As you're doing that, oh, you snap it, one of the, uh, you snap the first plate. You're trying to be careful, but it pops, and then the rune is destroyed. I will shrug and uh, toss down a rope. I'm like, if uh, if you just want to climb back up, I can help you. Are there any other runes? Um, the two acid runes are both cracked in half from it uh from the carapace splitting open when it landed oh that's a shame there's no other runes there's no like uh no like, just those hot you know, water heating rune or anything nope uh oh, that's too bad so while they're down there deckard Critman, did you want to chat with uh the hunter um, yeah, and actually, where is he yeah. from? Like, do we do, let's find out what we can about him? I will extend a hand from, like, and be the like, plane? I am Critman. Says, <laughs> um, I have no name. Oh, well, let's give you a name. You sound, you look like uh, Steve. Steve. Actually, we already have a Steve. What's another good name? Thief? Let's call you Thief. Thief? Look at me like, Thief. Are you? A summon? A summon? Oh, that's good. Uh, no. No, my my people, we don't know where we originate from, but uh, I was born in the elemental plane of Earth. Quite a difficult place to live, but... I, I can imagine. So why... Why did you end up uh, chasing these things? You just hunt them for fun? They are our mortal enemies. We have been at war for uh -huh. generations. Crossing every plane, trying to kill one another. We are winning, uh -huh. but as long as they breed, 
they continue to plague everything. How how do you cross the plains? Elemental plains. He shrugs and says, I, I just do. The, the uh, runes got... help to um, concentrate, but it is part of me. Can, we, well, I, can I study some of the runes? runes? Would you mind if I study your runes here? You can. I don't know how much they will tell you. Okay, can I study some of them? Yeah. Are you taking your hour, or are you just studying? Well, it depends on how long these guys want to be here for. Well, we're going to be here for an hour? Well, we're here for about half an hour to get the other rune already. Like, yeah, yeah I'll, do, I'll do my hour thing there. Okay. So... So, um, which runes do you want to um, study? He has. Um, um, let's do that flame shift. Right? Does he have um, the flame shift ones as well? He does not have any that are specific to plane shifting. Um, okay. Like he said, most of the runes on him are specific to helping him to um, uh, concentrate to do anything like his uh, um, plane shift. Um, he has some on his horns and in a couple places that aren't visible to him uh, on his horns and on his forehead. Let's check out the one on his forehead. Okay. I was say, get the one on the spear. And then I'll check the one on the spear. Uh, um, also, I want to so... know why he doesn't have a name. Says. Because too many of them die. He says, I was born and I grew up myself. I had no need for name. It's just You're... how it is. People do not refer to each other by name? No. We refer to one another as this one, that one, and somehow yeah, we one. know who is being spoken to. You must have uh, some sort of psychic ability there. I, I was just going to say the, uh, no, I was just going to say, you know, those innate weird animal things that animals do. Animal body language. Sure. Hmm? Lilith, like, completely understands. Yeah. She's like, yes, yes. <laughs> She's just nodding along, yeah. So, um, you study the rune on his forehead, um, and he tells you what it's used for. Um, uh, we are able to um, blast out thunderous energy. Um, it hurts all around us and can be heard nearly an entire plane away by our people. Any on this plane within a few thousand kilometers would be able to hear my uh, hear my rumble. Is that what you call it? You rumble? The thunderous rumble. Yes. Huh, okay. So can I write that down or put it in my books or something? Or how does this work? Yeah, you can you can put it in one of your books. Um, it's not something being innate to him. It's not like a spell that you would be able to recreate. Um, but from the sounds of it to you, it seems like a combination between thunder wave and uh, the sound that comes from knock. Okay. So, Interesting. Yeah. He's just a yodeling people. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the rune on his uh, spear, um, you've heard of um, weapons of returning. Um, it's possible that that's what this is, just a magic weapon. Am I able to, to use that? Um if okay. you are proficient in spears yes or well, like would i be able to put it on something else like uh, something else's spear you would have to enchant a weapon 
and I don't know how to enchant weapons. Can I write down? I'll, I'll just write down all the yeah the runes, and then if I can use them at one point or tell somebody that I can enchant it, then I will. Yeah, sure. Um, give me right. a performance check. Okay. Performance, easy peasy. You guys are just gonna have to wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the dice is rolling. <laughs> it's only my five minute dice. It's part, it's one of the new features of D and D Beyond. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the take your time dice. <laughs> <laughs> I get that all the time. Let's see what I got. And they it just come rolling. out of nowhere. <laughs> one minute it's you the uh, ten <laughs> second and sometimes it's the five minute dice. Oh, no, you stay away from that one, you bastard. <laughs> it landed one. on the one. Natural one on my performance check for an eight. Yep. So you... Well, I fucked that up. Wrote the roll down wrong. Yeah, you... Uh... Oh, I did the wrong ones. Um, It's not that you fuck it up. You just, drawing them down, you don't get a very good likeness of them. So, this kind yeah. Of shit. The one on his oh, wow. forehead is very simple, but the ones on the spear are. You can't uh, get them well enough. I just. Yeah. I forgot one of the squiggles. Yeah. I fucked it up. Sorry, guys. All right. Sorry, Griffin. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He, um, once you get the uh runes written down he bids you farewell and then before, takes before he leaves yep can i ask him to for some of the stories of his people he must have some sort of stories right um i'll, I'll fix my gun in the meantime they pass okay up. yep while you're fixing your gun he will tell you a couple stories that he's heard from his childhood um probably it probably all kind of goes back to the uh, um, the war. Um, With the, yeah, the creatures. That's what yeah, I'm the war is basically all it was. Okay, well, um, I'll, still, I'll still write down any of his stories that he tells me yeah. before he takes off. Um, Does he want to stick around and uh, take over our uh, werebear's place? He... I'll tell him that he can send her and stand in, st in her place while he's with us. Um, he says, unfortunately, she cannot do as I do. I... But you could send her and then your friends could use her as like a good, you know, stabby, crushy person. Right? We cannot take others with us. Um, I'm going to look to him and be like, so... Uh... Are they able to travel far? Do you think you would be still within the realm of the city, or uh, would it be another plane completely? It would be another plane. Well, don't you think we... you should stick with us just in case it comes around again and we can help each other out? It would not stay, knowing I am here and that others could be. We it would, would uh... find a place where it could hole up to hatch its young. We would love to yeah, uh, is... assist you in that journey because, you know, jumping up with different planes is dope. But, uh, yeah. we have to deal with a winter problem here, so hmm. we'll let you get back to it there. Uh, Roger. There you <laughs> would you be able I'm just going to give him a shrug at the end. He says, possibly. Like, let's see if you wanted to find it. So come find us again. Anytime I you want. will do my best. Sweet. All right. He bids you farewell and uh, takes a step, and the air around him whittles, and he's gone. Hmm. All right. Now let's look around for that uh, that fox. Plane shifting. <laughs> Did we ever pick up that fox? Did you want to pick up the fox body? Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll go give it to Iggy. 
you get the the color changing fox body it's not alive anymore so it can't change colors yeah well i'll give it to you see what he does <laughs> just this corpse yeah yeah just the corpse i handed to you oh oh thank you i, <laughs> I give it to lola <laughs> Thank you. Can Lola's like skin it and like make a nice little like scarf out of it? Oh yeah, absolutely. This this was one of your. You're just so vile, I tell you. You want to keep well, everything alive, and then you kill. You, it's dead, yeah. and you just skin it. Right away. Already dead. What is best is to make use of every part of it. And you shouldn't eat prey like predator animals. So make a nice scarf out of it. Makes sense. There you go. And Lola's fine. <laughs> Right. It, is it like a weird shimmery scarf because it was a chameleon fox? Um, it's like does it change color, like in the in the heat or the cold. That'd be cool. Just imagine it's... it like a mood ring where like Lilith can just shift it colors depending on her mood. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I'll say yes. It is a mood changing. Uh. Fox. Like a mood ring. Mood, mood fox Sweet. scarf. See? Cool. <laughs> Alright. Um... Now you guys will know if I'm pissed off or not. You'll yeah. just have to look at my we... scarf. I'm pretty sure She's we already know when you're pissed off. <laughs> so. Uh, there we go. No, just... Lil, we won't hurt this animal. Completely. So <laughs> that we had someone in our YouTube uh, comments that I had to uh, just toss a quick ban on. Right. They well, keep. We had some good stuff there. there. Yeah. Hey, you buy some mushrooms, mushrooms because uh, our our yeah, of show is called Magic Mushrooms Mead. So. Is it a bot? Yeah, it's it's a bot. They they comment on our stuff all the time too. A different a different Wonderful. uh account every time buy mushrooms on instagram buy it online get it right away the <laughs> uh, <Good> deal <laughs> yeah there actually hasn't been that much drug trade in this campaign actually which surprises nope. me no there was a little at the beginning yep but, yeah, we gotta yeah. do better better in the next right. campaign more drinking more, <laughs> more, more drinking, drinking more drugs, more drugs. yeah, yeah more debauchery yeah i so, think most of us are playing evil characters next time anyway so <laughs> easy. you can just run you, shine you imagine the campaign with all evil characters i Has mean that, have you guys ever done that before i mean we're like chaotic <laughs> characters but yeah. i don't think we're evil. Uh, pretty close yeah. to all pretty evil last evil. campaign our last campaign no was way. pretty close and this campaign is I pretty was... close to I've probably been the most non-evil person out of all of them. Uh, uh, the only ever. reason I think that the last campaign wasn't all evil is because I picked my character, picked up a sword at the end that made me lawful good. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was pretty much the only reason. And proceeded to, to have to make retribution for all of the decisions that I did, had done through that campaign. Yeah. That is what I basically spent the rest of his life doing. Yeah. Um... So, but. what would you guys like well, to do next? Necro let's just go to the necromancy. Uh, well, do we want to? Do we want to? Well, do every time rest? we walk into these guys, every time yeah. we walk into these one. Yeah, maybe guys, maybe we should rest because uh, Patrick okay. de uh, Declan's depleted most of his um spell slot. Declan. 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 I'm gonna sing today. a song too here. Yeah. Da, 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 Declan. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna you know the, the guy that was that played the Black Panther? Yep. Chadwick Boseman. Bosman? Uh, yeah. Yep. I called him Chad Bodwick today. <laughs> so I can't I can't do anything right. <laughs> Chad That's Bodwick. Good. That's uh, a new character name. Yeah. Yes. We're resting in the zoo, right? Okay. 
right? Oh, right. uh, we should go and pet some of like the the cute animals. Oh, I guess you have to climb down. Never mind. Yeah. We'll pet the the turtle. <laughs> Just try reaching and like pet it while it's flying by. Um, I may or may not spend some time observing the pandas for quite some time. Okay. <laughs> Are we doing a short rest? Um, so... Or a long rest? Uh, I wanted to check something. I thought I was keeping track, but I don't know if I have it or not. Four rest crystals. So, Valin, I don't, I don't have it near the top. Okay, I should keep it near the top. Uh, in case anyone forgets, Valin did prepare us quote unquote rest crystals is what I'm yeah. calling them at this point. Oh yeah. Um, oh, I totally forgot I had Stiff Steve for that fight too. Shit. So <laughs> I don't <laughs> I'm pretty sure we still have um like four uh week long yep. rests uh in eight hours. Ten hours, yeah. Uh, oh in ten hours, sorry. And then we have a long or an eight hour rest. Uh, I think we have, I don't know if it's four or three. I don't remember. You guys have used one. No, you didn't use one that time. No, we didn't use one last time because we didn't feel pressured to, but now yeah. I'm like, I'm kind of done with this city, so I'm okay to use one. Like, we're on the back half where i have three or we have five out of the eight rights right yeah so i don't mind burning one of these crystals at this point to just keep plowing through okay um i'm okay with that so because... does, that, does that like reset everything including pitch? yes okay. yeah that resets your your spells and everything is what we'd be doing and it is a eight or a ten hour rest in one hour yeah Eight hour rest in well, one hour. I think that's a good idea here with all the animals. So, right. I think we'll sense that. Okay. Uh, uh, so, I'm just going to put down three eight hour. Perfect. Uh, so, we're doing the, the long rest, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do that. Um, so yeah, we could take the long rest, give everyone refreshed, hang out with the animals for an hour in the zoo. Everyone can go have a, a zoo day. Yeah. And, uh, break and come back. Um, and, uh, say Lilith have... doesn't have the same powers as, like, a wizard would have, right? In terms right. of, like, creating something new, like an animal? Okay. Who's who's also all hurt here? Uh, well, I was hurt. I, had a, I can't remember what I had. I just took a long rest, so. Okay. I used some of my hit dice. If you can heal me instead. Um, <laughs> well, I'm healing myself a decent chunk here, uh, so that's And Lilith, are you gonna prepare uh, um, remove curse to make Oya oh yeah, no longer a uh, traitor? Central. Not traitor, just useless. you're muted. Yeah, it's greater restoration. Oh right, greater restoration. Removes yeah. A, yeah, removes oh, a curse. Don't... Yeah. Oh yeah, no. If it's it greater was... restoration, I am. Um, it was. I, think that, I thought that one was specifically. Cursed. Oh no! It did say specifically remove curse. Oh, um, I couldn't. Oh, um. Deckard heal fifteen. All right. Then I'm I definitely can't... at the top. I couldn't find that in the um. You do not have that. Oh, it's okay, a... yeah, no. All I have is the greater restoration, yeah. or I can do. Um, but it says. Uh, 
You can remove one curse. Uh, this particular one specifically says that it needs to remove curse. Oh, so I can't help her. Sorry. Right. Uh, it is a cleric spell, though. Third level. Is anyone a cleric? Wait, what? Yep. Really? It's third level cleric spell. I think I even took it off because I was like, I'm never going to use this. <laughs> I got tired of having too many... De um, cure spells for being a goddamn war cleric. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah. Well, oh, I can uh... I can do mine on a long rest as well, right? Yeah, you do yours on a long rest yeah. as well. I can't remember. It's, is it warlocks that are on level? I don't remember who's on level. Um, warlocks have a specific level that they can cast. All of their spells are at that level. Yeah, that's right. I have move curse right there. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna remove that one because I don't have the diamonds that I need to cast it anyways. So, um, and I have it. Oh, I can't even do it before the rest anyway. So I have to rest and then do it. I uh, was everyone else relatively topped up before we take the rest, so you don't have to blow hit dice. Okay. Uh, I have rested, and I will cast Remove Curse. Okay. Uh, let me find it. It was third level. Uh, All right. There we go. And... I really should look at her and be like, be useful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like she'll look at me and give like, me like a dirty on. look, and then be like, oh, yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know yeah. what came over me. I blame the brain. Hey, useless thing. That's what came over you. It's alright. We all get too big for our boots sometimes. <laughs> alright. So, I was hoping we'd get through that a little quicker, but I forgot that they're CR6 and had loads of HP. So, having two of them took a lot longer than uh, I would have right. liked. So, yeah, but I wanted to check out the weasel pandas. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, you guys were going on to the Tower of Necromancy next. Um, so I guess our next episode will also be called the Tower of Necromancy. <laughs> probably inside the Tower of Necromancy. Um, yeah, so, the with 14 minutes left, we'll be ending uh, right with this uh, box text. Um, a short conical tower supported by arched buttresses stands on the edge of the city. On the outward facing side of the door uh, uh, the tower is an eerie green glowing arcane symbol. A metal door leads into the base of the tower. And sounds fantastic. Yeah. You know the symbol is the symbol of uh, necromancy. Approach the tower. Something undead is inside. Go fight some zombies. Just gonna like crack my neck a little bit and be like, it's time. It's like this is like Doom guy walking into hell. So. Uh, we will end it there. Let's uh, let's have a little chat about Ark and Forge. Yeah. So do you guys want me to tell another bad joke? Go for it. Let's see if I can find one. Oh, I have a bad joke. Oh, these are all horrible. Oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Anybody? Anybody got one? All right. Let's see if I can remember it. Uh... Okay, Maybe. how does the non-binary samurai slay their enemies? I don't know. <laughs> they slash them. Uh, 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 <laughs> speaking of things that aren't a joke, let's talk about <laughs> Arkenforge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're, we are an Arkenforge affiliate. 
and you guys can go out and get five dollars off using the code word mushroom tips on the master toolkit for either the sci-fi or san or fantasy starter pack there's a 14 day free trial so get on in on that um it's one-time payment no subscription fee it can be used fully offline it can be installed on an unlimited number of devices with one purchase it's easy to import and manage your own content uh, <laughs> Uh, you can build fully animated maps with real-time lighting. Hook up TV or projector play in person. Manage your campaign with a robust linkable system. Set the scene with immersive audio. Full commercial license to export those maps. And it's touch screen compatible for use with physical minis. Now I'm just trying to figure out if they just shut me off here. and it's easy. Mm. No, everyone's still here? Okay. Yeah, everyone's still here. I was Sorry. Just like, I was like, look. I was looking at it because the stream has ended with freaking noises. Like, well, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. here's the code word mushroom tips, all one word. For five mushroom tips, all one word. Toolkit. 